NFC East and South of the NFL predictions 2013. Let's get it started. The Washington Redskins were the NFC East champions, finished 10 and 6, but lost in the first round of the playoffs last last year to the Seattle Seahawks. The positives: fifth ranked offense, Robert Griffin the third. Uh, best rushing offense in the NFL score 436 points which is 20, they average 27.2 points per game which is fourth in the league fifth in rush defense that's the only good thing to say about their defense negatives RG3's injury 20th in pass offense 28th overall defense and the third worst pass defense <clears throat> if they can f modify their defense and Robert Griffin the third stay healthy they could be winning division titles and get to the playoffs every year. So, it's on the Redskins to do that. New York Giants, second in NFC East, finished 9-7 in 2012 season. Positives, the offense was good, 14th overall. And they, they had the fewest sacks allowed, I think it was 20 if I'm not mistaken. Negatives, the second worst defense, 31st overall, which I'm surprised. And they had that Jekyll and Hyde syndrome where they'll dominate in one game, but the next game they'll get dominated and let them not bother to show up. So, and plus the injuries, on it played a role. So, Dallas Cowboys, third in the NFC East and finished 8-8 eight and eight in 2012 season. Positives? Offense, sixth ranked overall. Uh, passing game was great. Third, uh, Tony Romo. <clears throat> the negatives, rushing offense was horrible. Second worst in the league. Consistency issues, Tony Romo's 648 pass attempts. Defense suspect and unrealistic expectations. I seem to remember that I predicted that the Dallas Cowboys were going to finish 8-8 eight and eight and miss the playoffs. I'm going to pull the video link in the info bar so y'all can listen to it. Okay? To the Dallas Cowboys fans, I was corrected. Your defense ain't all that. And it showed last year. In the unrealistic expectations, it came back to bite your team in the butt. Now did it. Now did it. I thought so. And you're asking Tony Roma. Well, the team is asking Tony Roma to throw the ball 648 times. Really? When the when uh, the Dallas Cowboys went to the playoffs and had that one playoff victory, this was with Tony Romo. Their running game was great and their passing game was great as well. They had a balanced offense. Why don't you get back to that, Dallas Cowboys? And the the, the heat is definitely on Tony Romo since he had that ridiculous contract. Was it six year, hundred and eight or hundred eleven million dollars something, fifty one million dollar guarantee? Woo! That's a big time money. That's Peyton Manny, Eli Manny, Joe Flacco type of money. Wow. Anyway, <clears throat> Philadelphia Eagles, fourth in the NFC East, finished four and twelve in 2012 season. The positives, offense and defense overall, fifteenth average. Not good. Not bad. They were just that. But the stats don't tell you the whole story. They underachieved, which is the negatives. Uh, defense gave up at times. Michael Vick, because he couldn't stay healthy, and this and that and the other. He can only stay healthy one time in his entire career, through the entire season. One time. The offensive line gave up 48 sacks, and Andy Reid is the head coach before he got fired. You're asking Michael Vig a lot, but <laughs> you got to look at the offensive line. They were just terrible. They look scared. Now, my final predictions of the NFC East. Cowboys 10 and 6, Giants 8 and 8, Redskins 7 and 9, Eagles 5 and 11. NFC South. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. The N the Atlanta Falcons were the champions of the division. F finished thirteen and three. 
but lost in the NFC title game last year to the San Francisco 49ers. The positives were the eighth ranked offense, Matt Ryan, six in pass on offense, scored 419 points, which they averaged 26.2 points per game, which is seventh in the NFL, fifth in total sacks allowed. The offensive line did a good job protecting him. The negatives, they were 29th in rushing offense. That's why they, they ditch Michael Turner to get uh, Steven Jackson out of St. Louis Rams. 24th in overall defense, 28th in team sacks. Offensive line struggled to protect Matty Ice at times. And I still believe that he, he's overrated. But that's just my personal opinion. If you look at the um, ESPN analyst, Ron Jarowski's, uh what was it 32 top 32 quarterbacks in the league or something like that he had them at number five but hey that's his opinion he gets paid to say those things but hey i still believe he's overrated one playoff victory in your tie career yeah in, that's how i feel don't like it falcon fans go kick rocks carolina panthers second in the nfc south Finished 7-9 in 2012 season. The, po the positives, 12-ranked offense, 16th in passing offense. It could, get it, it could be better. 9th in rushing offense, scored th 357 points, 22.3 points per game, uh, 18th. Defense was great, 10th uh, overall. It had everything to do with uh, Luke Keekley. Special teams, uh, average. They were good at times, but boy, they were bad. Speaking of bad, here comes the negatives. Cam Newton needs to read, needs to learn how to read the defenses better, and his accuracy's always been hot and cold. And I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. The offense could be hot and cold at times. Uh, running backs were misused. Oh my God, read option was primary. Rob Jasinski. He was a former offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers before taking the job in Cleveland for, as a head coaching position. Secondary on defense, I pound the table. I pound the table so many times how bad they were. Fourth in, in the league in missed tackles, Steve Smith and who? Who's going to help out Steve Smith at the wide receiver position? People say, well, Brandon LaFell, yada, 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 but I need to see more. I feel that Brandon LaFell can be, you know, hot and cold at times. So, somebody needs to step up. Steve Smith can't do everything by himself in that position. New Orleans Saints, third in NFC South, finished 7-9. They lost the tiebreaker to the Carolina Panthers. That's why they finished second. All three teams in the NFC South finished 7-9. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Just take it for what it is. Positives. Second best offense overall. Passing Best passing offense in the NFL. Drew Brees scored 461 points. Averaged 28.8 points per game. Third in the NFL. Negatives. Crappy defense. Sean Payton suspended for an entire 2012 season for a bounding gate scandal. Uh, rushing offense was ranked 25th, allowed 454 points, which is 31st. Hot garbage. Yeah. It's going to take more than just Sean Payton, the head coach, to get the New Orleans Saints in the playoffs. The defense need to step their game up, too. That's why they went out and got uh, Rob Ryan as a defensive coordinator. <laughs> oh, that should be good, baby. It should be great. It should be glorious, stupendous. Um, boy, I'm rubbing my hands together. Oh my God. <clears throat> Tampa Bay Buccaneers, fourth in the NFC South, uh, finished seven and nine in 2012. Positives, nine ranked offense. I'm impressed. Running game was average. Passing game was really good. Tenth in the best rushing defense. They were nasty. Couldn't run against them basically run into a wall Woo! but here comes the negatives Josh Freeman could be inconsistent at times fourth worst yeah fourth worst defense in the league consistency in the worst pass defense Wow all you had to do is just throw the ball against them and they, they might as well be taking pictures I'm just saying oh so, 
here comes my final predictions of the NFC South. And it was pretty tough. I was going back and forth with it. Falcons, 12 and 4. Saints, 10 and 6. Panthers, 8 and 8. Buccaneers, 6 and 10. Now, I have teams in the playoffs. Now, on the AFC side, I have the Texans, Patriots, Broncos, and the Steelers. The wild card teams are the Colts and the Bengals. On the NFC side, I have the Seahawks, the Cowboys, the Falcons, and the Packers. And I have the Saints and the 49ers as wild card teams. Who's going to the Super Bowl and who's going to win it all? Okay. I have the Seahawks and the Broncos. And I'm picking, this might shock you, Seattle Seahawks is your Super Bowl champion. Yes, I'm going way out of the limb for this one. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And with that, th uh, throwing y'all a salute. I'll talk to y'all later. What's your picks? What's your thoughts? I know I'm going to get some hate mail, <laughs> hate comments, death threats. But bring it. Just bring it. I dare you. Peace out.